Hello and welcome back to the Dream Saga. My name is Cody, and today we have our second um, Manga Spice Cafe subscription box. I am super, super excited. Uh, the box is the same as last time, um, but I'm really hoping uh, we've got some different stuff in there. So, um, gonna give you a look. It was, I have not opened it, it was uh, unsealed when we took the label off. Um, so if you look here, the label was taken off. It's fine. So let's go ahead and open this up. Oh, would you look at that? All right, so Manga Spice number three. So this is their third edition, uh, and it is Dragon Ball, uh, mainly Dragon Ball related, um, or at least Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball, whatever you'd like to say. So these are some of the fun things here delicious candy showcasing some artwork interview looks like they got an interview wow okay it looks like they got some of the snacks there uh noble super cola it looks like the ingredients sweet all right once again just phenomenal Oh, all right, wait, hold on. So I was able to get one of the limited edition Dragon Ball Z ramen -A. Oh, boy. Carbonated soft drink. And it's got Super Saiyan Goku on it. That's cool. I don't know if I should drink that uh, or collect that. I could do both, I guess. I don't know what flavor that is, but uh, that's really cool. Uh, it looks like, ooh, this time around we got some cookie and cream Pocky. Uh, it, it, that's exciting. I, I love cookie and cream Pocky. Let's pop those guys up. I did <laughs> just do uh, a Pocky video, like maybe a couple videos ago, um, and this is one of them. Um, I will say are immediately a step up from the uh, chocolate banana ones. Is my favorite. Mm. As a pocky flavor, that one's that one's really good. Sweet. Um, this looks like it is like a baked potato chip. Egan original. Okay, I've never seen this before. Oh, I think he's probably got uh, kicked around a little bit. Oh, well. So, I think it's just a... That's really interesting. There's a butter taste to this. Now these aren't broken. So. Hmm. Not fried baked. Hmm. It literally tastes like a baked potato. I like that a lot. Honey and apple, honey twist snacks. Honey and apple. Those are two flavors I did not think I would ever hear together, at least in like a, a snack format. Apparently. It's almost there. Looks like a rice cracker. Pretty sure that's what it is. Mm, I don't think I taste any of the apple. It tastes like a very subtle honey.
Okay. Interesting, nonetheless. Set that to the side. Okay. This is a mixed flavored candy. So it's got a it's got three flavors. I'm assuming one's ramen egg, grape, blueberry, and milk. Let's dump these out right here. Okay. So I'm assuming this one is like yogurt or milk, grape, ramen. Oh no, this one's grape. And so that one would be blueberry. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna try the safe one and go for the hopefully the ramen one. All right, so it looks like a toffee. It's got blue lines in it, so it's like a, yeah, it definitely feels like a toffee. Definitely ramen flavor. Interesting. really tough. Hmm. Okay. A little sour. This looks like just a mixed bag of treats. Got some super cola in there. I've had those before. We've done a video on those. We know what those taste like. If you um, want to see that video, check it out. Um... There should be a Candy Tuesday playlist with uh, with those on there, and just some like other little. This looks like some pineapple candy, probably some orange. Looks like melon, grape again, ramen. Sweet. So I'm not gonna actually go through all of those. It'd be a lot of time, but what? Uh, what we always want to see in this, the manga spice gives you books. Uh, we did last last month's, and it was phenomenal. Um, I am super confuse me for a second. I'm super excited to see what they have for us this month. And so you can tell, as you can see, um, is the second video that we're doing uh, in the in the new place. Um, I got a, at least tried to get like a cloth down here so it's a little nicer so first one we have dragon ball super number one yeah um this is like it's getting real big on um like funimation look at that so i'm really excited to see and actually start watching i haven't started watching it yet but uh reading it is just as fun Ever since Goku became Earth Grey's hero and gathered the seven Dragon Balls to defeat the evil Boo, his life on Earth has grown a little dull. But new threats loom overhead, and Goku and his friends will have to defend the planet once again in the continuation of Akiro Toriyama's best-selling series, Dragon Ball. From what I read, um, when it came to like Dragon Ball GT and all those, those were all just like fan service. Those don't actually fit into the... Uh, true, like, Dragon Ball world. So it'll be interesting. Uh, I really do look forward to reading that. And then, The Water Dragon's Bride. That's interesting. In the blink of an eye, a modern-day girl named Osaya uh, is whisked away from her warm and happy home and stranded in a strange mystery mysterious world where she meets the water dragon god. A young boy named Subaru comes to Asaya's aid, but despite his help, 
Messiah must endure a test of survival. Will she be able to make it out alive, or will she end up being sacrificed? Dun dun dun. That's the Water Bride number one. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, the girl. My girlfriend is a T Rex. <laughs> This is this is super strange. Uh this is so this is what caught my caught my attention was just like what? Uh in a modern day world where dinosaurs and humans live side by side, college student Yuma Osakawa uh meets Trio, the girl of his dreams, who also <laughs> happens to be a vicious meat eating, teeth bearing Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ch- Chiro, it may be kind and curvy, but her sensibilities haven't uh, haven't evolved much past the Cretaceous era. And when everything from stuffed animals to clothes become just another item on her menu, will you let alone uh, let alone their relationship survive? Let alone their relationship survive? Wow, all ages. So I mean, that's got to be something, right? Like they don't. There's no graphic uh, nudity. I mean, because from that picture alone, you expect to see some sort of, like, nipple. I mean, come on. That's just how it's going to come down. Um, This month, phenomenal. Um, I I would say the snacks. uh, Actually, the snacks, I mean, despite being a little similar in taste, I mean, between these two, because they're both, like, potato rice-esque, like, cracker chips, we got uh, a way better flavor of Pocky. Um, got some different candies. Um, and then we've got some, like, Japanese toffee with four different flavors. That one's really good. The books, um, definitely a different tone than last month. Um, last month was, um, like, one was, like, kind of lighthearted. And the other one was, like, kind of dark looking. Um I mean, overall, everything's great. The box is 36 bucks. Uh, if you were to look at the prices here, um, you've got 20 and 22, 23 bucks. Uh, no, 33 bucks. Um, and then plus the candy. So you've got the limited edition ramen. Um, I mean, you're definitely getting way more than um, you're spending. So, I mean, it's, once again, another phenomenal box. Uh, I will continue to subscribe to them because I want to see them grow. I want to see more and more of these boxes. Um, So, I'm just super, super excited. I think, uh, overall, uh, super excited, uh, super satisfied. I keep saying excited. (laughs) And, um, yeah. Yeah. I really look forward to it. They gave me a really nice shout-out last month um, for my review, and I will continue. They don't have to. Uh, I really appreciate them uh, talking about it, and uh, I'm guessing they you know, pushed it around a little bit because, well, heck, um, it, it, it got around. It got some really good views, and it's still going up. Um, so I am just pleased as peach, pleased as punch whatever you want to call it. My name is Cody, and I will see you next time. Bye!